Hi. Good morning, Teammate 5. I hope this morning finds you feeling well. It's May 28th, almost June, and wow, has it been hot. What great weather we're having. Um, let's see. It's Thursday, and it is, this is our last official social studies lesson. Um, we'll be doing some team things next week. We'll still make some videos, but this is probably my last song of the day for you guys. I picked a good one. Um, so today's lesson, you will be watching a 15 minute video on World War II. I really wanted to touch base on World War II. You know, we did the Holocaust. I feel confident you have a good understanding of the Holocaust. I'm sure high school, you'll cover the Holocaust some more. We'll always be talking about the Holocaust. Um, but you know, the war happened too. And I thought a good way for me to introduce it to you would to be to talk about the three leaders who uh, wanted to take over the world. Of course, you've heard of Adolf Hitler, um, kind of a household name. That's his baby picture. Hard to believe he was so evil, um, became so evil. He was born in Upper Austria. You may not have realized that. He lost four brothers and sisters to a disease called diphtheria. Um, his dad was abusive and his dad died when Hitler was about 13 or 14. Three of my websites said 13, two of the websites I used said 14. Um, his mom let him quit school, but again, you find different things in different research. Some say he was kicked out of school. His mom died when she was 18. I'm sorry. His mom died when he was 18, and he did love his mother very much. Uh, he always wanted to be an artist and was a really good singer. Um, but he got rejected twice by the Academy of Far Fine Arts, so that never happened. He moved to Germany in 1913, and he fought in World War I. Um, some of you may have covered that battle when we were doing World War I. He spent nine months in prison for treason. Um, he dictated his autobiography, biography, sorry, um, and his political kind of claim um, called Mein Kampf. I hope I'm saying that right. And it was how he planned to transform German society into one race. Uh, he became the chancellor of Germany in 1933. And in the end, he committed suicide when he was losing the war. Mussolini was the leader of Italy and he was born in Italy. Predapio, not sure how to say that. Uh, he too was expelled from his first boarding school at age 10 and my goodness, he stabbed a fellow student. His father was a blacksmith. His mother was very religious and a school teacher. Um, at first he was a socialist because he wanted to be like his dad and he became a reporter. And, but he often um, you know, got people who read his articles to be violent and he spent six months in jail for doing that. In 1915, he joined the Italian army. He f also fought in World War I and he became a corporal. Um, at first he was against war, and then he thought it would be good for Italy. Kind of a huge flip-flop there. Um, he started his own political party called the Fascist Party, um, and he had 30,000 black shirts marched into Rome and took control of the government. Um, in 1936, he started invading other countries and occupied Ethiopia. He allied himself up with Hitler, and they formed an alliance that they called the Pact of Steel. Italy didn't do so well in World War II. It wasn't prepared for such a big war. And Italian people wanted the war to end. They wanted out. And Mussolini was removed from power and put in prison. Um, again, my research was a bit conflicting, but Mussolini, they say, was executed by a firing squad and hung up at a gas station um, in Milan, Italy, and crowds could kick on him and spit on him and things like that. So it didn't end well for him. Hirohito was the emperor of Japan. He was born in the royal palace in Tokyo in 1901. 
Um, I'm going to skip a couple of these. He joined up with the Axis powers, which is what we called the Pact of Steel. He joined up with them, and he invaded northern China first. Um, he was very successful, and Japan was successful at first. And then they woke a sleeping giant, the United States. They dropped a bomb on, bombed, per, not just one bomb, they bombed Pearl Harbor. Um, and that was a naval base. I'm sure you know that. Uh, so then we got involved in the war and we dropped atomic bombs on Japan. And we killed over 120,000 instantly. And tens of thousands died later because the atomic bomb was full of radiation. Japan was in ruins, and Hirohito surrendered by a radio address, and it was the first time most Japanese ever heard the leader's voice. Can you imagine? He never spoke to his country till he surrendered. Um, many people wanted him punished after the war, but General Douglas MacArthur said that the Japanese did respect Hirohito, and they should leave him and leave him as the emperor because of the fact that Japan did still respect him. Um, and Hirohito remained the emperor for 40 years. Here's a picture of him at an older age with President Reagan and the first lady, Nancy. And he died in 1989, not so long ago. Um, and when he died, Japan was the second largest economy of the world, and we had become trading partners. So we worked on our relationship and moved on. Um, so some basic facts. World War II lasted from 1939 to 1945. It began when German troops invaded Poland in 1939. The UK declared war on Germany in, on September 3rd of 1939. And again, there was the Allies or the Axis. The Axis were Germany, Italy, and Japan. We just talked about that. And the Allied, the big countries, were Great Britain, the United States, France, and the Soviet Union. Um, I'm just going to skip a couple of these. Uh, we entered the war. Oh, this is a big one. Number eight. It was the Battle of Britain was the first battle ever to be fought only in the air, only with planes. Um, and that was a big change, change in the way war was combated. Um, we joined the war in on December 7th in 1941, we tried for a very long time to stay out of it because World War I was so bad. And World War II ended in Europe on May 8th in 1945, and this is known as VE Day, which is victory in Europe. And But Japan was a little stubborn and didn't officially surrender till September 2nd. And that was called VJ Day, we can assume victory in Japan victory for us. So my song of the day is called The Rose. I love, love, love this song. It, the movie's kind of, don't watch it. It's rated R. Don't watch it. It's older, but it's about a rock star and it's a female rock star. And she sings this song at the end of the movie. Um, it goes like this. Some say love it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger, an endless aching need. But I say love, it is a flower, and you, it's only seed. It's the heart, afraid of breaking, that never learns to dance. It's a dream, afraid of waking, that never takes a chance. It's the one who won't be taken, who cannot seem to give. And the soul, afraid of dying, 
that never learns to live when the night has been too lonely and the road has been too long and you think that love is only for the lucky and the strong just remember in the winter far beneath the bitter snow lies the seed that with the sun's love in the spring becomes the rose i didn't do so bad on that one <laughs> it's a beautiful song check it out anyway i hope that you learn to dance i hope that you are somebody's son and that you live love and laugh i love you guys so much and we will be together again happy learning <laughs>